and welcome to this week's Chesterfield Post News Roundup. Last Saturday saw the launch of Chesterfield's Poppy Appeal, run by the Royal British Legion. The 2011-12 campaign, which is the 90th campaign, was opened by the Mayor and Mayoress in the town centre. Margaret Topley from the RBL told the Chesterfield Post that all money that goes into the tins really does make a difference to the lives and welfare of British servicemen injured in wars and their bereaved families. In his opening statement to the town, the Mayor stressed that the appeal is as relevant now as it's always been due to the ongoing conflicts in Iraq and Afghanistan. £45,000 was raised last year in Chesterfield and organisers are hoping that the town can exceed that this year. It was announced this week that a soldier from Chesterfield's own 2nd Mercian Regiment was killed in Helmand Province. He was 19. The Derbyshire Poppy Appeal was also launched at the B2 Net, with Club Chairman Barry Hubbard buying the first poppy of the campaign. Last weekend saw a successful Arts and Markets Festival take place over four days throughout the town. The event, organised by the council, saw celebrities such as TV antiques expert John, John T. Herndon come to the town to take part in a market challenge to raise money for the mayoral appeal and acts such as the Magnets and folk singer Cara Dillon at the Winding Wheel. The biggest draw was the Festival of Light, which saw the Queen's Park transformed into a huge garden of light with attractions for all the family over the four nights. Saturday night saw a lantern parade led by the mayor through the town with thousands attending. A sausage competition was won by Elliot's Butchers for the third year running. Four sausages were blind tasted by members of the public and voted on. Stephen Elliott from the Market Hall says he was delighted to have won again but won't divulge the secret of his award winning sausage. The subject of gritting came into focus last week as it was revealed that 913 people responded to the consultation by Derbyshire County Council to change the way the roads are gritted after last year's particularly heavy winter. Proposals will now reflect some of the comments made by people who responded. Schools, health centres and other community facilities such as GP surgeries and parish halls used for activities like per parent and toddler groups will be given higher priority. They'll be included on primary routes where possible, and where this isn't possible, the County Council will make sure there is a primary route close by. Where possible, priority will also be given to old people's nursing and residential homes, previously not included on gritting routes, by including them on tertiary routes. Officials say that over four million was spent on gritting and snow clearance last year. The full document can be seen on www.derbyshire.gov.uk forward slash snow. Chesterfield Royal Hospital says that work has begun on the fire-damaged main entrance after fire ripped through it four months ago, causing extensive damage. A £1.6 million project is now underway, with site contractors having set up a base earlier this week. It's expected that work will be completed by late spring 2012 and will see a smaller reception desk, an electronic queuing system, a better service for patients with disabilities, more privacy for those booking in electronically and greater clarity about where facilities, such as the cafe, start and finish. The hospital is also urging people to watch out for signs of norovirus after an outbreak has led to a ward being closed. Anyone experiencing the symptoms is being urged not to visit the hospital and to stay at home until you have been symptom free for at least 72 hours as you can still spread the virus on during that time even if you feel well. Basil Ward had to be closed due to the virus this week and Matron Diane Simpson says that a highly contagious virus causes severe vomiting and diarrhoea, a temperature, headache, stomach cramps and aching limbs which can last for anything between 12 to 60 hours. At least 600,000 to 1 million people suffer from, from the norovirus in the UK every year and it's the country's most common form of stomach upset. In sport, and it was a busy week for Chesterfield Football Club with the arrival of two new faces and the departure of two more familiar ones. Derek Niven has now gone to Northampton on a month's loan, whilst Dean Holden has gone to Rochdale in what appears to be a straight swap for incoming defender from the Dale, Neil Trotman. New goalkeeper Ole Zoderberg is a loanee from Newcastle and is a Swedish international under-21 player. Both started in yesterday's game at the B2 net against Yeovil, where the Spyrite gained a valuable point as the match ended in a 2-2 draw. Two Cup games are ahead this week, with the JPTC in Chesterfield play host to Tranmere, and Saturday's FA Cup game, again at the B2 net, seeing them face Torquay United. Tickets are available at reduced prices for both games. Please visit the club's website for more details. And Alfreton Town are also seeking FA Cup glory next weekend and hoping to cause the upset when Carlisle visit the Impact Arena. Nicky Law's side got the look of the draw after beating Lincoln City on Tuesday evening. 
Matlock Town saw £5,000 raised at the first sportsman's dinner to be held in the new sports and social club at the ground. The evening was hosted by BBC Test Cricket host Jonathan Agnew and saw items auctioned including a chance to play snooker with Jimmy White and signed Matlock shirts. Chairman Tom Wright hailed the evening a resounding success. That's all for now. Please visit the website www.chesterfieldpost.co.uk for more details.